Hello Internet and welcome once again to ACD Camping, the home of Woodland Shagans on a shoestring budget. I'm ACD and in this video I'd like to discuss fear whilst camping. Now in the UK we don't really have that many cryptids, no skinwalkers, no wendigos, no yetis. But what we do have is archaic laws that are favourable to those with money, i.e. the landowners, rising gun crime and issues throughout the world that are already spilling out onto our streets. I have social anxiety. Going into the outdoors is my escape from the hustle and bustle of the town centre and all the problems that arise in there during the weekends. Um, going out into the outdoors, I have personally encountered boy racers in their souped up means of transport that they feel and think make up for what's lacking in other departments. And also what I can only describe as falling into the middle of a drug deal in progress. But what do we do if we do encounter something like that? How do we act? How do we react? Here are some of my tips that I'm going to give to you from 20 years worth of uh, working in the security industry in various forms. Um, I'm not one of these clickbaity channels, or I don't intend to be. I'm not going to be like, oh, you need to get, get, keep yourself armed, because in the UK, that could bring more problems to you than, say, the original problem to start with. So, get comfortable. And stay tuned. Always let someone know where you're going and what time you expect to be back. Keep calm. If this is your first time while camping, the sounds that you hear at night can literally play tricks on your mind. You will probably see things that will confuse you in the dark. Is that a tree rustling or is there someone in the background? Keep calm. Deep breaths. Evaluate the location. Take a look around. And breathe again. Always go with your instinct. That feeling in your gut telling you that something's not right. If it makes your experience more enjoyable, find a more suitable site. Plan your trip in advance. Study the map of the area that you intend to camp out at. Then, before you set a date, take a day hike and check the location in person. Um, make a note in advance of not only the spot that's caught your eye, but also one or two other fallback options. Once you've arrived at your area that you intend to camp out at, before it gets dusk, before it gets too dark to see anything, before you've even set up, have a look around the area. Does it look like people have been there recently? Is there mess on the floor? Are there things that don't look right? If so, you can always use one of your fallback options. Assess your fears beforehand. Statistically, the three biggest incidents you could face whilst out camping and hiking that could require an emergency response are falls, heart attacks, and in some parts of the world, animal attacks. In the UK, think of that as encountering a reckless owner with a dog of its lead. They should be following the countryside code. Attacks, although rare do happen as seen in the mainstream media recently so that nagging thought about being by, abducted by aliens think it out rationally and prepare for the terrain and probable things that you could face don't camp near inclines 
bodies of water. And if you do encounter a dog that looks like it's been fed mainly on steroids and brought up with no social interaction whatsoever, do not engage in eye contact with them. Curl up into a ball, speak softly to the animal. This can apply to not only dogs, but any other animal that you may encounter. Do not act aggressively and the dog will act accordingly. Take something to do. When I go camping and I'm going to make a video, I will always either bring something to review or something that I've made at home and I can show you how I use it out in the wild. But if this is going to be your first time camping or um, the, the, the first time that you've been out on your own, then take a book with you. Um, maybe something about the local area in which you're camping. That, that could be an interesting way to help you through the night and also however long you're staying there. You could also take a put a playlist of your favourite songs on your phone and then you could listen to it and it may help you fall asleep at night. Become best friends with your navigation kit. Uh, before you go on your trip in the pre-planning pre stage, mark in pencil the route that you're planning to take and also any areas of interest that you may encounter. Familiarise yourself with the use of a compass. I'll go into greater detail on how to use this in the 10 Seas of Survival playlist and also the first video on the Get It to Grips with playlist. Now, if you find yourself in a heavily wooded, unfamiliar area, always pack a roll of brightly coloured tape. You can use this by taking a small piece, wrapping it around a tree branch at eye level, and then at least then you know that you have a means to make your way back to the route that you've come from. Take food that you know that you'll like, and also enough water for the duration. Now, a female needs at least three litres of water a day, a male, maybe a litre more. Um, that's just on average everyday activities. Um, if you're hiking for any distance or you're on terrain that's got steep inclines, you may need more to drink. Um, you will need to take with you some water purification tablets or, a mean, or some kind of means of purifying water, be it a live straw or something along those lines. Take the most comfortable sleep system that you can afford um, a sleeping bag, a thick blanket. Think of this as your new childhood blanket. Your little bit of safety from the world. Comfort is always a little bit of safety. Now, this next section you can apply to your everyday life. It touches upon personal safety and also situational awareness. Now, when you're out hiking or camping, the further you're away from a centre of population, the less chance you have of bumping into someone whose intentions are, shall we say, less than honest. Um, but if you do have the misfortune of bumping into someone out whilst hiking, um, say hi, be polite, keep your conversation vague, don't let them know where you're going or what you're planning to do that day. And bend the truth a little. Tell them that you're meeting someone further down the trail. You're, you've got time and a, and a location already pre-planned with them. Keep all your belongings in your tent or tarp and keep noise and light to the absolute minimum. Set up just before dusk and be ready to leave just before dawn. Now, 
encountering authorities. Should a landowner or the old mill request that you vacate the area immediately, do so with open body language. Be honest. Do as the, the authority has said. Not with folded arms. Not looking like me in a huff. Try and keep the situation as level as possible. Don't act like the big man. Don't act like the world revolves around you. They probably feel like the world revolves around them. So it could end up with a situation where an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Now, in this video, I've addressed one of my biggest fears. I've battled my social anxiety and I've peer, appeared on video. Um, and now that I've got past that barrier, I'm hoping to bring you more um, topics and lots more interesting hints and tips to, that you can use as uh, a first timer or someone on a sh small budget. Now, I'm not, and I don't aim to be one of these clickbaity channels. You know, you'll, you'll see them with the thumbnail and the black. Pointing at some thing in the distance that's probably a tree, you know. Okay, fair enough. And then you click on the video and it has nothing to do with what you've talked in the thumbnail, uh, you know. Anyway, <coughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> I do apologise. But in this video that I've just produced for you, um, I'm ho I'm hoping that not only can you use them whilst you're camping, but you can use this skill set and apply it to your everyday activities, be it at work or out on the town. That person by the bar, why did they keep looking at my bag? That person at the workplace, what is he, what's he doing? You know, I, I don't mean to get you paranoid, but there's a lot going on in the world. And I, I feel that this was the perfect time to release this video, write it, produce it, um, put it up on the internet for you to watch and hopefully learn something and enjoy. Um, I'm going to try and steer away from other channels. I'm not going to be addressing the problems of the world. I, I have no experience on a battlefield. I have, I'm not a, what you would call um, a weekend warrior. I'm not one of those that's got a load of army gear and they'll dress up and run around the woodlands thinking that they're squaddies. I'm, I'm not one of those people. Um, I'm trying to be as honest and as forthright with you as possible with all the videos that I make. And I'm just hoping that this video is of help to some of you out there and thanks for watching please like and subscribe share this video with your friends and i'll see you in the next video peace